Hi, I'm Mark, and today I want to talk about the developments after Brexit again. The German-British economy is quite confident about the future because in a recent survey by the German Chamber of Commerce abroad in Great Britain, companies rate their individual business prospects more positively than the prospects for the British economy in general. The spring survey of the German-British Chamber of Industry and Commerce shows that companies are skeptical about the future development of the British economy overall. But when it comes to their own business prospects, companies are much more optimistic. More than 40% expect their business situation to improve. This is also reflected in their plans. Around a third of the companies that were surveyed intended to increase their investments in the UK and almost half planned to hire new workers. I have to ask where they want to find them, but that's another topic. German-British business community successfully defies the weak economic development in the United Kingdom there. The results of the recent spring survey by the British Chamber of Industry and Commerce show that based on the British economy as a whole, just under a quarter of companies have positive expectations for the future. In contrast, more than 40%, as I said, expect their own future business prospects to improve. And compared to autumn last year, this represents a significant improvement because at that time, significantly fewer companies with 24% expected their own business to develop positively. As a result of these positive business expectations, around a third of companies plan to increase their investments and almost half with 46% intend to hire new employees. A shortage of skilled workers, partly caused by the new residency restrictions, but also by trade barriers and other additional administrative costs caused by Brexit, as well as increased energy costs, those are currently the biggest challenges for the companies. Compared to six months ago, supply chain problems are no longer such a big problem because in the meantime, companies are focusing more on opening up new markets in their diversification efforts. From the business perspective, the recently concluded Windsor Agreement, the Windsor Framework on the design of the Northern Ireland Protocol, will lead to a certain improvement in Euro-British relations. But only 2% of the companies surveyed expect a significantly positive effect on their own economic activities by that. Dr. Ulrich Hoppe, the Managing Director of the German-British Chamber of Industry and Commerce, said about this, The survey results show that the German-British economy is not immune to global developments, but continues to be very successful in responding to the challenges. As part of the study, 57 web-based interviews were conducted with companies from the German-British economy that are operationally active in the United Kingdom. The study was part of the World Business Outlook of the German of, uh, Chamber of Industry and Commerce this year. And that's a very interesting thing because even they see the British economy overall not in a very good mood and in, with very good prospects, but they for themselves see better prospects. I would really be interested why that is, but nobody could tell me that yet. Um, maybe they rely on their own abilities more, I don't know. But with that we see one more thing. With Brexit, the economy got more complicated in the UK and for everyone participating there be it UK companies or companies from abroad. And that will continue for quite some time, and we all know this. So Brexit is a gift that keeps on giving and nothing good. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll be back.